1st to 10th, making friends with ordinal numbers. Hello, dear learners. In today's video, we're going to explore the fascinating world of ordinal numbers from 1 to 10. These numbers are so commonly used in everyday conversation that you might not even notice them. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll be able to use ordinal numbers effortlessly, and you'll understand why they're so important in English. Let's dive in. To kick things off, let's start with defining what ordinal numbers are. Ordinal numbers are numbers that represent the position or order of things in a set. While cardinal numbers, like 1, 2, 3, answer the question, how many? Ordinal numbers, like 1st, 2nd, 3rd, answer the question, in what order? Now, let's look at our ordinal numbers from 1 to 10. They are 1, 1st, 2, 2nd, 3, 3rd, 4, 4th, 5, 5th, 6, 6th, 7, 7th, 8, 8th, 9, 9th, 10, 10th. It's important to note the spelling of each word especially those tricky ones like 1st, 2nd, 3rd, and 8th. This is where things get really fun. We're going to look at some real-life examples to help you understand how to use these ordinal numbers in context. I live on the second floor of my apartment building. The first step in learning a new language is always the hardest. I came in third in the race, but I was still proud of my performance. His birthday is on the 9th of May. I can't believe you finished the pie. You must have a 10th stomach. The best way to learn is by doing. So, try using ordinal numbers in your daily conversation. Discuss with a friend about your favorite books, ranking them from the 1st to the 10th. Describe your routine from the first thing you do when you wake up to the tenth thing you do before going to bed. The more you practice, the more comfortable you will become. And that brings us to the end of this video. We hope you've enjoyed exploring ordinal numbers and their uses. Remember, practice is key, so don't hesitate to use these numbers whenever you can. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in our next lesson.